guys welcome back to my channel my name is Alicia and this is heart and hand creations and events tonight what I'm gonna do what well, is evening what I'm gonna do is uh, this is part two of the African statuette series as far as um, actual creating one or building one and I showed you last how I put the structure together and how I uh, mold structure and cast so that was three steps today I'm going to show you how um, my paint to for the skin color and I'm gonna give you a close-up of how the casting the casted body looks okay and here we go. This thing here, as you see, has been used and used over and over. This is what I use to mix my colors. Let me put this down so you can see. There's extra stuff all the way. Okay, and what I do here. where I'm used for my color. This right here is the brown that I use and it's a, a handmade color. And these are the colors that I use for it. Which I should have already set up, but I don't. Let me put this on here. I have a, a black is tempered paint good old-fashioned school tempered paint black I have a brown I have a coffee bean brown and there it is this is this one is called real brown This one also, a Crayola brand. Brown and I always got to scratch my head. Oh, I can't find the other brown using up too much time. All right, this is what I do. I squeeze some brown. Just fill it up. Fill up the tray. And I use the black. I already got paint on me. And Oops. Wow, that's about four dots. And I just mix it up. the brown that I come up with. This is the skin color that I'm going to use right here. I'm not going to add any more brown to it or, or any more black. I think this is good enough to create this sun-kissed color skin. Okay. Alright. The next thing... Ooh. my brush from when I did my casting. I had it sitting in the water all night the past couple of days. That's how I clean it. 
So these are two colors that I used to make my skin color today. This came from the Dollar Tree. This one came from Walmart. Alright, and the pink brush that I'll be using. I like this one. And this is what I do. Uh, if I knew how to edit and make this go fast forward, I would. But since I don't, what I'm going to do is finish painting her up. We'll do a few more strokes of the brush here. And then when I'm finished, hmm, what I'm going to do is come back to you guys after... She is all done as far as the painting goes. I haven't even really figured out what type of outfit that I want her to have. Now, even though her head is going to be covered up with hair or a wrap, I still like to paint the whole thing. Turn it upside down so I can get all in, in all of the cracks and the crevices of the head. Alright, got the head all painted. Try to make sure I get every little crack and crevice of this of the body also because I never knew how much of the skin or the body that I want to you know exposed. So I usually paint it all the way to um, the base of the back right here and about this section of the around the front Like this. I usually paint her like that all the way around. And then from here, I do her legs. Hold up. I might as well finish her up because I'm just about done here. Well, anyhow, I'm going to finish painting her up, guys. And I'll come back and show you what she looks like painted. Okay, guys, I am back. And as you can see, this is what she looks like all painted up from her legs. 
to the middle of her waist and up the, to her head all inside there and her arms that's how I paint her up it's not necessary to paint this part nobody's gonna see that it's more like just say it's a slip that's what it looks like to me but um There we are, and so what I would, my next step would be, um, is to make her a, a, an outfit, which would have to be with material, and I'm going, I'm choosing material, and I, I really needed purple and gold for the um, sorority colors that I'm doing, and I think I had made a mistake, and I called the um, purple. I think it's purple and gold is the um oh what is this sorority the gammas I believe but anyway I'm about to make purple and gold and I have this material here for the gold and I have purple accessories because I don't have purple material and that's what I'm going to be using and um yep so when i come back with part three because i just wanted to show you how i paint her up to get her and as you see she's coming along you know what maybe what i'll do is because see i don't even know what i want for her head right now and i don't know if i want uh, a, um, to put hair on her or just the dress i mean just the um Talk about just a dress. Either put hair on her or put a um, head wrap on. You know, I'm trying to figure it out. So I'll come back and show you what I came up with for the hair. Be right back. Okay, guys. This is what I got for her head. I made some hair for her, so I decided to do hair, and um, so this was part two. On the next video, I will be transforming this piece of material into an outfit for Miss this thing here. Yeah. So, thank you for watching, guys. If you like what you've seen so far, or have any comments, you can comment below. But if you like this video, Give me a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. Also, subscribe, share, and leave a comment, like I said. Let me know uh, if you have any ideas on what I could do uh, as far as the, the next set of colors. Um, not colors, but um, the next um, mm, soror. Let me know which soror you want me to do next. All right, but this one here is going to be a Gamma Girl sorority sister. This will be her colors. Uh, and I'm going to show you real quick the... Is it in here? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but this is purple. So I'll be adding the purple to her oh hold up we're going to sh I'm gonna show it to you like this this material and she'll have the purple but there will be more purple accessories I'm gonna have to really uh, accessorize this purple if I don't find what other purple I might want to use for this project but yeah here we go So when we come back, part three, outfit and accessories. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.